running from the van. <laughs> it's our last morning in the van, so sad. Goodbye, van. We're leaving Russell right now on the car ferry because we've learned our lesson. It's faster this way, and um, there's not a good chance of getting lost. So. <laughs> on the car ferry and then we're gonna make our way back down to Auckland and then maybe catch up with some people in Auckland and then fly back to Christchurch but really I could just be touring around up here in a van for like a month more Russell was a really cute town definitely want to stay there again it's cold to see in the morning that's why this doesn't look as good as it usually does I'm kidding yeah same <laughs> That's why I'm wearing these. You cannot see half my face, and you can just see me vlogging, which is really weird, also. Mm. I got these from my mom for Christmas. Thanks, mom. We stopped off at Fungare Falls. Eat some brekkie and take a look at the falls. Alright, well, those were the falls. <laughs> Pretty good. On the road again freshened up in the bathroom, you know, van life, but it's good. They have a lot of public bathrooms in New Zealand, so wherever you go, it's not too bad. Final oh, drive. Oh, yeah. Well, we just cleaned out the van, Ooh, packed up all of our stuff. So sad, I really like this van. <laughs> now we're headed back to the airport, and then we fly to Christchurch, and that's the end of the holiday. It's been really good, though. It has indeed. An adventure. Yeah, <laughs> definitely an adventure. <laughs> Alright, hello guys. Now we're in like present day. I hope so. <laughs> hope you liked our van road trip around Northland. I thought it was really fun. I thought we'd just do a quick recap of the trip and any tips that we had and our favorite parts and stuff and some anything that might be helpful. Yeah. <laughs> This was the first time I've ever traveled in like a van where we slept in it before so I found it was like a little bit challenging at times just like I don't know it just felt like oh where do we park what are we doing I don't know and then like showering and then there's public toilets everywhere around so that's okay. Yeah I think New Zealand is trying to crack down on having a lot of freedom campers overwhelming some certain spots so um, there's different rules in different regions. But one good thing we just found out about was that CamperMate thing. Yeah, there's an app called CamperMate that apparently gives you all the best spots to camp and all the free camping grounds and everything. So definitely, I'll link it below. And I think there's some other apps that someone was telling me about recently. So just look for those things because that would be really helpful. Would have been good. It would have been good. <laughs> yeah. Oh well. Um, driving tips in New Zealand. Oh yeah. Uh, left hand side. <laughs> <laughs> Drive on the left hand side. It's a pretty big one, pretty big one. New Zealand's roads are pretty windy and there's some ups and there's, they're not like um, a lot of roads around the world there. But yeah, really windy and take quite a lot of concentration. So if you feel like you're going slower than uh, everybody else and you've got a big lineup behind you, the really courteous thing to do is pull over because there's often not a lot of chance for people to overtake um, yeah. and get ahead of you. And so, and then if, that means you're not feeling stressed out yourself, you can just relax and pull over and take your time. It's a beautiful drive usually in New Zealand, so yeah. you know. That's a really good tip and also because if you are going a little bit slower and there's cars that oh, they're like, I just want to go fast, they might try and overtake you around a point that's not a really safe time to do it because we've seen that before where like cars are going around a curve and they're trying to pass someone and it's just really dangerous, so you don't want to cause any accidents. And also just familiarize yourself with um, road signs and whatnot. Maybe if you want to know more about driving in, in New Zealand, give this video a thumbs up and maybe write in the comments that you want to see that because maybe we'll do a video like driving tips. Yeah. Because there are things that I didn't know. We've learned the hard way. Around roundabouts? Around roundabouts are confusing. <laughs> <laughs> and also, yeah, just look out for like if there are signs that say no camping, no camper vans don't park there and don't stay there because it clearly says so just always look for signs but if you park in the wrong spot and you get caught a uh, 200 dollar fine mm. that's like a badass hotel yeah that's true <laughs> it's a really good hotel yeah so don't get caught otherwise yeah. you're not saving any money yeah cool but i really enjoyed our trip do you have any favorite parts 
the Bay of Islands are really cool. Actually, the whole trip was awesome. The, yeah. It was really good to go check out the spots that I hadn't seen before. Yeah. Which is a shame I've been around the world, but haven't been to the top of the North Island. Oh, so now you have. Now I have. But Cape Reang yeah. was beautiful, really worth the drive, and like, yeah, it's really nice the atmosphere. They seem to be really relaxed, and, yeah, uh, really nice and warm and tropical. Yeah, I in really the Bay of Islands, it. man. Yeah, yeah so it was good. cool. Russell, man, go sailing with the guys on Phantom. That was yeah, wicked. That yeah. was by far my favorite day. It was so good. Mm, I really so liked good. the town of Russell. It was so cute, and then that sailing trip, so mm. good. I really liked it up there, actually. Mm. Nine Mile Beach was cool. It was all really good. Mm. Yeah. Uh, way way to give them some hints of where to go, just the Northland. Yeah, just yeah. go all the places. If you come to New Zealand, so many people um, travel New Zealand in vans like that. Actually, most of the time they're way cooler. Like a lot of them have like stoves in the back and all of this. And a lot of people, actually, what is a good tip, a lot of people buy them when they get here and then they sell them when they leave. So actually it's kind of like a free car and accommodation the whole time because if you buy and sell for the same price, a really good tip. Mm. Coming soon, I'm, I have an interview with some friends about that. You could also like just drive around and have a tent and I feel like there would have been a lot of places you could camp. There's a lot of dock camping grounds, part of the conservation mm, yeah. camping grounds that are, are cheap for a night like five, ten bucks or something and it's uh, you get toilets and stuff so yeah. yeah really and you've got a safe place to camp that you're allowed to and you won't get a $200 yeah. fine. Do you have anything else to say about our Northland road trip, van trip? Yeah, you should come to New Zealand and do, do that but attach it to the rest of New Zealand and then you're in yeah. for a treat mm. but don't come thinking you're gonna see the whole of New Zealand in like two or three weeks. You no. need you need longer. There's so many good spots. Yep. And uh, if you have any secret spots that you wanna know that I know about, you just email Murray. She'll tell you. I'm gonna I already get too many emails. Uh, too many. Oh look who's complaining. <laughs> I don't get any. You can send them to me. Well, for all of you have who have um written me messages about New Zealand tips, I tried to get back to you but it's hard to give very specific tips for everyone, so maybe we'll just do like a New Zealand travel tips video. Video? Yeah. Yeah, so if, if I haven't responded, I'm sorry, and more info will be coming, and more tips will be coming. Yay! Anyway, thanks so much for watching our van trip, rope trip extravaganza. And if there are any specific questions you have or anything, just leave it in the comments below, and then when we do our New Zealand tips video, we'll try to answer them. That sounds like a good plan, mm -hmm. eh? Yes. Okay, perfect. Alright, thanks so much for watching. Subscribe for more videos and more New Zealand. Bye! <laughs> this map has New Zealand on it two times. Right there. And right there. Do you guys want to see a massive pile of avocados? Check this out. Whoa! Whoa. There's some new teeth right here. Oh, I didn't get it. Ugh. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> that, that one got in the video. Oh. Right. Um, crickets. I don't know. Yeah. Crickets. Uh, like, cause it's... She don't know what to say. Yeah. So you just make cricket. I don't love cricket. Uh... <laughs>